Only on six tonight, a cheap, tiny, low-tech device is getting big results in Flagler County. We saw deputies use them recently to save a toddler from a hot car. Yeah, now we're seeing what they are and how they work so simply and how they're saving lives countywide. News 6's Eric Von Anken goes to a salvage yard for a demonstration on how shatter balls are protecting our community. Sheriff's office, did y'all call? It was a hot day in May when Flagler County Sheriff's deputies were called to a Walmart parking lot. The Sheriff's office gave us this body camera video of the rescue call. Shut up. Shut up. The mother is panicking. Understandably, she accidentally locked her one-year-old inside the car with the engine off. How long has she been in there? Uh, I must smash the window then. No, no, no. I have to. The deputy knows time is ticking in the heat in the middle of the day. So he grabs the shatter balls from his patrol car. And breaks out the back window, clears the glass, and unlocks the door. What are shatter balls? They're small, they're steel, and they're spiky, but they're not sharp. After we saw that body camera video of the rescue of that child, we came here to John's Auto Parts in Benell with Commander Ryan Emery because, Commander, you are the one who trains the sheriff's office here in Flagler County how to use these things. Yes, sir. Where did this come from? Last year, uh, Sheriff Staley wanted, he, he directed us to outfit all of the patrol deputies with, with these um, so that we can help, um, you know, gain access to a vehicle without... Uh, with minimizing uh, risk and injury to the public and also for the deputies themselves. So When I saw you use this in that body camera video, I'm thinking to myself, there's got to be some kind of magic behind this. But, I mean, it's wait, this is a $20 yeah. part. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's, um, it's actually not sharp, and it's not very heavy either. So if it, if it inadvertently does um, hit someone, it, you know, it doesn't hurt. It's pretty simple. And is there a technique to throwing it so, of course, you don't injure the person inside the car? Sure. So um, you just kind of throw it kind of like a dart, and uh, you don't have to throw it hard. You throw it soft. And, um, you know, when there's a civilian inside the vehicle and the vehicle's occupied, you would um, typically deploy it to a window farthest from them so they don't get any uh, inadvertent glass or anything like that on them. Commander Emery tells me all deputies have shatter balls in their cars countywide and have used them at least 20 times since getting them just a year ago to make rescues. Every time successfully and safely. Protecting our community in Flagler County, Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6. I mean, they're wow. just flicking it. I know, it's very gentle, it seems like, and it's obviously making a right. difference. Right, I, I mean, listen, I, I don't want those coming at me when I'm driving, but no. like, think about, I, I love that it's, it is reducing the risk for the person inside, yeah. whoever's trapped in there, maybe a dog too, you never know, Correct. and then, and the deputy, because if you break the gla the shattering, yeah. but that's, and Crazy. we all have, and I know I do, I have four of the things, the, gra the glass break inside mm. the car, but you don't carry it with you. Right, exactly. I used to have one of those on my keychain where you just put it up to the window and it's sort of oh, like, yeah. so in case you, yeah. you know, need Boy, to Boy, that, that seems a lot easier. Yeah.